all right guys welcome back to another steam free to play review today we have depths of madness and this game is made by slap kraken or smack kraken or something i'm too drunk to remember but i'm expecting some crazy cthulhu stuff with the title let's do hard mode i don't want it to be too easy and i'm super scared i'm actually a scaredy boy i get like super scared when i'm playing horror games so now is a good time to do it while i'm drunk and hopefully will not scream like a little bitch we will see I like the little tutorial though. Crouch behind things to hide. Gotcha. You shift to sprint. Okay. I am a Nautilus versus one Krakeny boy. You need to lean. It's helpful to see around corners. Uh, usually when you see around corners in a horror game, you're kind of just screwed, so you just kind of got to go, I think. Oh man. I don't need all this intense <laughs> anticipation. Look for places to plant your explosives. What am I trying to do here? Am I trying to blow up the submarine? That means I die, I think. It's a Kraken versus a... S okay. I'm filling a plot hole here. <laughs> the graphics are nice, though. I gotta find a place to plant my explosives. How did it say to plant the explosives again? I don't remember. It's alright. We'll figure it out. Search the station for a place to plant explosives. We need a blue card key for that one. Oh man, this thing has like really bad range of motion for your mouse. Can I open oh, sensitivity? One second. Oh. Yes. Gosh, it is really low. Hopefully that helps. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Uh, does this not open? Please? Yeah, open. Open? Hmm. And you open. It was kind of opening for a bit there, but then just decided not to. All right, whatever. Man, I think I should have listened to that tutorial a little bit better. How do I pick this up? Okay, you click it. This is Dr. Jameson Frost. Yeah. Checkmates. I've just arrived on the station and met the team. The UN didn't pull any punches with this group. There's enough PhDs in here we could throw them all together and make a really boring ass book. <laughs> but I digress. I'm excited to get to work. You don't sound like you have a PhD, PhD, dude. Now I have the best method in history to study what's down here. Can't say you have a PhD and follow it up by like, I can make this boring ass book. Uh, good try. <laughs> the script just wasn't there. Okay. What does that come from the tile? Uh, there is no tile roof. That literally looks like kind of like roof roof pieces, but they're not. Hmm. All right, we'll figure it out. Anything in here? Nope. Let's open up the locker. Nothing. I feel like I'm gonna die a horrible death. I don't really know what I'm doing because I wasn't paying that much attention. Oopsie. Green and blue can only go white, I guess, until I get a key card. Um, can I blow this up? This would be a good place to plant explosives, I bet. Can I, uh, look at, like, the tutorial again? <laughs> Controls, maybe? I don't even know how to, like, plant the explosives if I get to the right spot. Oh, we're gonna die horribly. I can feel it. Oh, this is a nice little office. Is this a key card? God, why does the key card look like a freaking brick? Why the fuck is she whispering? Don't you whisper at me, Sarah Long. Jesus Christ. Gave me a damn cold chill. ASMR and me and shit. Oh, don't worry. Rilla. Rilla. Look up at the stars. And we'll have like an ASMR session. And it'll be super cool. <laughs> I guess. Does this... Oh, it's broken, I guess. Alright. Glad I found a key card so it could like lead me into like a nothing. Why do I need a place to plant explosives? I should be able to plant explosives wherever I want and it's still gonna take the station down. I don't quite under I don't quite understand the logic. Okay, I'm breathing heavy. I guess I got like a limited sprint timer. I already went here. I do have it on hard mode, so I do expect to see something eventually. Probably.
Got a lot of green. Oh, now we got a blue one. We're moving on up, boys. Pick it up. I've been studying, dissecting, and analyzing That's several same specimens check. a week. This is a dream come true. Everyone here is excited about everything we are discovering, but I don't think they really appreciate the importance of our work. Hmm. I mean, discoveries haven't been made at this rate since the turn of the 18th What's century. Fucking levitating me. At something world changing here. Wingardium Leviosa. Can I not go in here because I keep floating off air? Like you can't go through that door. It's impossible. I keep floating every time I try to go through it. What is oh, okay? Am I stuck? Crouch. Maybe we can crouch and go through the door. Jesus. The fucking anti-gravity field is fucking me up. Okay, maybe if we crouch we can go through this door too. Oh, hey! Get fucked, shitty game design. Sorry. It's kind of true though. It shouldn't be floating me just because I went through a door. <laughs> like, that's pretty bad. Literally trying to go through a door. Oh, my game crashed? No, I control tab. That's what happened. Maybe. Uh. Um. Hmm. There we go. Somehow, like, I went. Hmm, door's broken. Okay. And we're going. I mean, it's kind of a neat game, but I don't really feel like the threat. I don't have anything, like, running at me or anything. And I'm pretty drunk, so I'd be really scared. I wouldn't know what to do. I have a blue card for this now. Is there even a monster? Like, maybe it's like a troll bait where they like act like there's a monster and there's not one. Because it is called Depths of Madness. Maybe it's supposed to make you more paranoid than you actually should be. I was expecting some like huge Cthulhu monster though, to be honest. But kind of disappointed. Oh, it's a sound clip. What's up? Pick it up. Oh, Amanda. I was allowed to do a full series of tests on Cthulhu today. Oh, That's we are talking about Cthulhu. MRI, X -ray, and I knew it. Everything else I could think of. As it turns out, Run. the little guy caused Run. electrical interference. Run where? Some of the lower power machines still work, so I have some staticky readouts. Unfortunately, those readouts suggest Cthulhu is made up of something we have never seen and should not exist. <laughs> he either broke everything or I'm looking at something from another dimension. Where am I supposed to run to, dog? I already placed explosives. A Cthulhu from another dimension? No way. I don't believe it. Am I supposed to go back to the beginning and like go out the door or something? Like, uh, they're whispering at me. This is very Cthulhu-like now. What? What just happened? My screen just went black. Uh. Okay. What just happened? What? What? Let me out of the wall, dog. <laughs> this game is so glitchy. It was like. <sighs> whisper, 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 whisper. I mean, they kind of got the right motif, but they're not. Am I supposed to leave the submarine? Because that's the exit right there. Damn, did I beat the game on hard mode already? I would have liked to see at least a monster. Alright, we're gone. Oh, there's Cthulhu. How do I go? Is there a way? Don't you kill me, you dirk. I mean, I'm where I'm supposed to be. There's no... That was kind of scary, though. Kinda. I mean, it could have been more scary. Um, did we beat it? I placed explosives. I'm in the escape hatch. I can't interact with anything. Hmm. Is there anything else you want me to do? I mean, I'm not going back out there. I already did what I was supposed to do out there. He's kind of whispering at me still. What do you want from me, game? Yeah, I don't know what he wants. Because I'm not going back out the submarine because that's where I'm supposed to be, I'm pretty sure. 
Can we like go? Can we like go? <laughs> I think it was a good concept, but I don't think the execution was good on this game. Like they could have made it a little bit more fluid. They could have had Cthulhu chase you before you planted the explosives. Like what am I supposed to do? I planted a bomb. I guess I'll just go back out here and die again. I haven't died yet, but I'll die for the first time, I guess. That was kind of crazy, though, how he was, like, standing in the mist, but Cthulhu would not be that tiny. Cthulhu, it's a big lad. He would eat this whole fucking ship if he wanted to. Alright, whatever. I guess the explosives exploded, because I planted them, like, a hot minute ago. Maybe I gotta place more explosives, who knows? I don't, really, I don't really understand the point of this game. Didn't I only have one explosive or did I have multiple explosives? Like, what was the. Uh, kind of confused on what I was supposed to do. Still. The apple. That's what's wrong with this game. They made it on the apple. <laughs> Jesus. That makes sense. Dr. Long has been coming back to her room later and later. She's becoming really obsessed with her work and with this creature thing. Creature thing. It's about 4 a.m. now, and she hasn't returned. I guess I'll talk to her about it in the morning. <laughs> yeah, we're dealing with Cthulhu, the god of madness, and we'll just be like, Oh, she's acting a little bit crazy. It's okay. Don't worry about it. We'll deal with it in the morning. Yeah, no, not me, dog. I'm here to survive, to be honest with you. So either Cthulhu was programmed really badly, or I'm just killing this shit. I don't know. Because I saw him once, but I just went prone and he left. But I don't really know what I'm doing. I already planned the bomb. Maybe I gotta plant multiple bombs. It does say explosives and not explosive, but... Still, I only picked up one bomb, to be honest with you. And it did say run, like you're supposed to get out of here, but this dude been whispering in my ear for a hot minute too. I don't really like that. Somehow I glitched through the freaking stage too. I don't know what happened there. It's a good uh, attempt. It is, I think it is made by a university. It's not like a full game, so. It was like a, I mean, it's, the graphics are good. Granted, like a lot of Unity games, graphics are good nowadays. And it has a neat concept. I like Cthulhu. Everybody likes Cthulhu, I think. So there was an earthquake in the middle of the night. <clears throat> it was just Stuck. as terrifying as that sounds. But my panic subsided once I checked my readings this morning. I don't really know how to describe it, but according to my reports, there is a nuclear reactor floating near the bottom of the trench. No way. Something must have broken in the earthquake. I'm gonna try to fix it. Is it Cthulhu or Godzilla? Just got Dr. Long's report for the day. It seems she broke the code of talking to Cthulhu, but these transcriptions are odd. Bring them home, I will make you whole. Obey me. Uh, oh, hey, Dr. Long. Another long night? She's gonna kill you. Uh, Dr. You Long's okay? fucked up. Ah! Told you. Call of it. Sarah, are you okay? No, bitch. She's Cthulhu advised. Damn. You playing the same game I'm playing? Alright, I got the purple disc. Whatever that's for. I did see some purple areas earlier. See behind me? It's pretty whispering it. Ooh, get away from game over. Are you fucking kidding me? That's Cthulhu? That's a fucking amoebus blob. What do you want from me? Wait a second. Let me watch the thing again. You wanted to move. That's Cthulhu? Okay. Y'all lost me at the Cthulhu monster. Got it. Crouch behind things to hide because you have a blue amoebus blob chasing you. That was not scary. This game is really poorly made. 
<laughs> Just make a scary monster at least that gets has like fast move speed. Like that was hard mode, dude. And I placed a bomb like 10 years ago. What happened to that? Is there one, two, three, four, five? I don't know. I planted the bombs. Yay, fireworks. I got no fireworks. I planted the bomb. I got zero fireworks, dog. All right. Oh, man. And the key cards are like randomly generated, I guess. Oh, no. I just picked it up by walking over it, I'm sure. All right. All right. Not gonna lie, not super impressed. It's a good try, I guess. It's a good student game for sure. But yeah. This is Doctor Jameson Frost. Initial check. Everything's fucking spawned in the same place too. You and didn't pull any punches with this group. There's enough PhDs in here, we could throw them all together and make a really boring ass book. Yeah, we can make a boring ass book, Dr. James and Frost. I've always been fascinated by the deep sea, and now I have the best method in history to study what's down here. Cool. Uh, what if I never planted the bomb? Would Cthulhu ever show up as a question? It's actually a pretty good question, because I could kind of just run through the whole game and pick up all the sound clips. Sorry if it seems I'm being a little bit rough with this game, but I was actually expecting a little bit more. I was like, oh man, Depths of Madness, Ocean, Cthulhu. This is gonna be awesome. They kinda let me down. Sarah completely ignored me until I mentioned there might be an earthquake, and she just was full of questions. I eventually resigned to just tell her it's probably nothing. Hope I'm right. Yeah, everything spawns in the same place too. That's kind of funny. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what else to say, but like this should have been a really scary game if they would have done it correctly. And it's also laggy while you're trying to move around. It doesn't move very fluid like. That's another thing to keep in mind while you're playing this. And this door should open. Oh, do I have a green key card? Maybe I have a green one, yeah. Now we have a blue one. Hooray. This is the room that like glitches and pushes me up for whatever reason. I don't know what they were thinking when they made these rooms. You have to like crouch to get through them. Because it pushes you up like majestically. I don't understand, but... I'm not supposed to understand. I'm just supposed to play the game. Alright, so I know where the purple key card is. I'm gonna get that before I even plant the bomb. Oh, I haven't been in the cafeteria yet. Wow, look at all these cups and not important things. We got an onion too. I don't think he even shows up until you plant the bomb, dude, because he isn't whispering in my head like he was earlier. Which is, it's actually kind of a nice touch because he should be whispering more and more. But it should be a time-based thing, not a, um, not a scenario based thing that would make the game a lot better if they like had it where Cthulhu spawned at a certain time when you've been running around the submarine because the madness is built built up that much but they just didn't really go with that it doesn't seem and this is where you plant the bombs I'm not going to do that yet I'll do that later when I know I can beat the game plot twist there was a purple key card somewhere in here. This is where I died. 
Nice, now we got the purple key card. Still no whispers though, so I think my theory is correct that Cthulhu won't just rando spawn like he should. Like I'm not real, I'm really not trying to rag on their game because it's a neat idea. I really like the idea of it. I just think they could have executed it a little bit better. Okay, that's not where we want to go. It's kind of where we want to go, but not yet. We want to find all the places to plant the bomb. I'm lagging. Uh, wait a second. The music's still going. The game just ain't playing. Uh, is it because I did too much without planting the bomb? Yeah, I figure out the system so it crashed the game on me. I want to get to the end of it, but I think it's kind of cheesy because you can get to it pretty quick. All right, whatever. We'll just restart because this game's <laughs> shitty. Okay. Uh, replay. No offense. Like, it, I like the concept and I like the theme and I like almost everything except for the actual game. Slap cracking, that's what the game studio is called. There you go. That's why I thought it was Cthulhu as well. Depths of madness. But not really. More like depths of game does not work correctly. Alright, I know where all the card keys are now though, because it, it spawns in the same place every time. Thank you. You don't need to tell me to press start. Or have this. <laughs> da, 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 da. And also, if my criticisms, criticisms seem a little bit harsh, just because I'm kind of drunk as well. So, and I was kind of looking forward to this game. I hit normal on accident, but I don't care. Fuck it. Hard's not hard, anyways. Like that's just the harsh truth about it. Hard's not hard. Escape to skip. I am slamming that escape key. It looks exactly the same as the hard version. Okay, so the blue, I gotta get the green key, then the blue key, and then the purple key. And if the game crashes again, I'm just gonna kinda like call it a wash, because it's. Everything spawns in the same spot. It's not like RNG, which I kinda thought it would be. Since. Kinda has like that map layout, like it would be RNG, but it's actually not, so. And my guy's freaking asthmatic, dude. He acts like he's running through water, but he's clearly not. There's no way. Okay, we got the green key. Now we gotta get the blue key, and then we gotta get the purple key. I don't know what changed between normal mode and hard mode. Does Cthulhu get even more dumb once you go to <laughs> hard mode? Or normal mode? Because like, even in hard mode, he wasn't doing the right thing, obviously. And that room, whatever is glitch, where you like go up when you go into it, like there's a ramp that you can't see. So let's beat this game before it crashes on us, boys. God, dude. <laughs> He literally can run like seven steps and then he has a full on asthma attack. It's crazy. Okay, this is not where the purple key was. It was like to the left. I could plant the bomb, but like I planted the bomb last time, right? And I ran to the exit and nothing happened. So I figured there's gotta be like multiple places you gotta plant the bomb. Also, you can glitch through the walls, which is kind of annoying, but it's all right. Hopefully the game just doesn't crash on me again, because I choose not to plant the bomb here. Alright, so last time I went to the right here, and that's when it crashed on me, so let's see what happens. Oh, we made it! Perfect. Let's see if there's anything in here, like an audio file or anything. There's one. There's oh, a new she's the crazy one. And I'm not allowed Sarah to Long. It. And that's basically all I know. 
All the charts they gave me on this thing don't make any sense. Their machines must be broken still. How the hell can an amphibian survive at these depths? And stand up outside of water? I'll get the correct readings and check back in later. It's because he's an old god, you freaking moron. Like, how, what? Do you not know about Cthulhu? You have your doctor doctorate and you don't know about the old god Cthulhu? Like, what is wrong with you, dog? I just discovered a new life form. The biologists keep busting up in my lab to study it, but it's my discovery. I had to write down a scientific name for the report. Xenoichthyogenesis cephalopoda. Save that three times fast. You made I that up yourself. I want to trench fish, but Dr. Frost is calling it Cthulhu right now. How creative. Also, to be fair, biologically speaking, it isn't a fish. It's kind of like an amphibian, maybe? They it's like an old god, maybe. A fish expert to study something that isn't a weed fish. plants. This should be interesting. Oh my god, the weed plants are everywhere. Look. All the marijuana. That actually explains everybody's behavior on the ship. Marijuana. <laughs> For real. Like this room's kind of red. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. I think I've been just about everywhere. I've only seen one place to plant a bomb. So I don't know what the game wants from me. Like I've almost been everywhere on the ship almost. I can tell by the place stuff. What the fuck? I just fell through the floor. Are you fucking kidding me? Am I just gonna keep fall- Hmm. Alright guys, thanks for watching as always. This game was actually kind of a disappointment. I- Granted, it was probably made by a bunch of college students and... But dang, dude. <laughs> like... Oh, okay. Yeah. It's not a good game. It's not worth playing. It has a lot of potential. They just- the execution was really poorly done. Like, they had the exact theme for horror. Submarine. Stuck under the sea. Cthulhu. And they made Cthulhu a blue amorphous blob that, like, walks slow as crap. Doesn't spawn until you plant one round of explosives. I never even saw a second place to plant explosives. Because the game kept glitching on me. And the dang doctors are ding-dongs that only one dude knows who Cthulhu is, and he's barely a doctor. So, yeah, thanks for watching as always. If you could, please like and subscribe. Bye!